What's going on guys? My name is Stormy and welcome back to a new episode where today we are draining an entire ocean monument. This took so much time and effort so uh, if you enjoy please please subscribe. It would mean the world to me and I really want to beat my friend Seiji who's almost at 2,000 subscribers and I'm here at like 350. Anyway I really hope you enjoy this video and let's get into it. Now as you can see below me there is an ocean monument over there. And I'm currently trying not to get completely obliterated by those guardians. So uh, yeah, I'm going to try break into this place, kill all the guardians, and hopefully escape with my life. Because these guys are so annoying. We're going to bring our chest plate, because an elytra doesn't really do much underwater. And I've also brought sand and TNT, so we can blow up a hole in the floor. I then proceeded to kill all the guardians in the temple. So, with all that out of the way, it gets me on to the main part of today's episode. Which is draining the ocean monument. Which is nothing short of a monumentous task. Or monument, I don't know the word, okay? So, to do that, we're gonna need to get more of these sponges. So, let's head into the monument and find the sponge rooms. Let's go in through the main entrance, because why not? And we can actually dig around now, so uh, the walls can't stop us. And somehow I've ended up back at the main entrance, okay. This thing is a maze. Where are these rooms? I can't find them anywhere. I'm pretty sure there's guaranteed to be at least one, maybe two, I'm not sure. After quite a lot of searching around, I can't find any sponge rooms. And I looked it up, and apparently there is not a guaranteed sponge room in every single ocean monument. So we're gonna have to go find another one. Luckily, there is another ocean monument just over there, I think. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it's just over here, almost in view of our industrial district, which is just over there. You can't really see it. It's kind of funny. This thing is like 300 blocks away from the other one. So a bow's not actually too bad for this, as long as I don't go, go like too far away. Gotta get out, I'm gonna drown. And there we go. That's one of them down. All right, let's get the next one just in here. This guy should only take a few more shots. I can't shoot that far away. All right, attack him. Come on, come on. Get out of here. Uh... This is not great. Ah, escape, escape. I definitely should have put Death Strider on these things. And the last one is just in here. Okay, that's, that's not bad. And there's the last guy there. Let's drink the milk and get out of here before we drown. I'm just going to pick up my ender chest to exit it left in here. And let's go find some of these rooms. Here's the gold room, which I do not need because I have more than enough gold. Come on, where's my sponge? Better be some sponge in here or I might just go cry. There was no sponge. Alright, so I found another ocean monument. I'm going to use free cam just to check why is my keyboard not working. I'm going to check it with free cam. Just so I don't waste my time. Oh, oh there, there is actually a sponge room in this one. Okay, that's, that's good. Let's see if we can mine in here before we get the effect. There we go. We're in the sponge room. Perfect, perfect. And now let's get out of the hole and start mining these things. And there we go. We got mining fatigue. That's what we brought the milk for. Hopefully it lasts. Oh, damn it. Well, I do have a TNT, I suppose. Let's get out of here. Hopefully it doesn't do too much damage. But blows up enough. There we go. Perfect. That's actually pretty good. Wow, we got a ton of sponge from that. Let's blow up the rest of these. That blew up absolutely none of them. Okay. Let's try that again. Ah. Got a couple there. That's good. 36 sponges isn't bad. Now that we've got some sponges, we can finally start work on this thing. Alright, we're gonna move this place up a bit so these stupid little guys can't hit us. Alright, so we've got a little platform up here with our nether portal. One thing I want to do really quick is enchant our diamond hoe up a bit more. Because it's only got mending right now, and I want efficiency and unbreaking and stuff. Alright, we got an efficiency 5 there. And we have an unbreaking book in here. And while we're here, we might as well stop the silk push book on it. So we put those on there, and put that on there, and we've got a pretty good hoe. All it's missing is some netherite. And while we're in the nether, we might as well dry out these sponges. Because if you didn't know, you can place sponges in the nether to make them dry sponges, which means they suck up water. And with efficiency 5, you can insta mine them, which is so nice. Careful not to leave any behind. And we're not going to need them for quite a while. But it's just nice to have them here. So, with that done, we need to start work on placing down a ton of sand. Because basically what I'm going to do is make a giant circle of sand around here and then split it up into sections and then drain out those little sections with the sponge. So this is gonna take like a week. But yeah, it should look pretty good when it's done. So we need to find the right size of circle here. All right, so I've got my center here. 
And I think I'm gonna go at about 60 blocks. Alright, so right there is 64 blocks. I mean, that seems good. Let's see if we do that on every side, see what that looks like. Alright, that's all the sides done. And I think that'll be good. Alright, now I just need to figure out how to make a circle around it. Because I'm definitely making a circle. It looks way better than a square or whatever. Let's start building, I guess. I'm just going to go to the nether and get nether axle. I can build the outline out of that instead of sandstone. Because I don't have enough sand. I don't have enough sands to make a load of sandstone. And there we go. That is the entire circle filled in. And it is looking pretty good. I think it's just the right size, actually. So now, the next thing we need to do is place sand the whole way around this thing. Like, 10 blocks up. Well, I'm going to count the average height from the floor to there. And, like, fill it in there. And then we can, like, drop the sand down on it. I think that's going to be a bit easier anyway. But it is a bit more work, kind of. Because we have to take out every single little weed down at the bottom here. But we're going to have to do that anyway. So I'm going to time lapse this bit, I think. Because it'll look pretty good placing all the sand around here. So, let's get into it. But, before we do that... I do have to get a good bit more sand because, um, yeah, we don't have enough. Nowhere near enough, in fact. This is all the sand we have. That's like not even a sugar box full of it. So I'm going to go pick some more sugar boxes up from the base and we're going to head to the mining desert. Alright, we got nine sugar boxes here and I'm going to hope to fill all of them up, which is going to be pretty hard. So I finally filled all nine sugar boxes up and it only took an hour and a bit. So uh, yeah, we can finally get to filling in the thing on the ocean monument. Time lapse time. It is done. That took absolutely ages. But it was actually quite relaxing. I got to listen to a podcast. And now that it's done, I get to do the fun part. Which is breaking it all down. But before we do that, we have to remove every single little bit of kelp from under here. Because if there is a single piece of kelp, or seagrass or anything, it'll stop the sand from falling down. It'll just break. So that's not great. It's actually easier not to go up for air. I just to take the damage every, like couple seconds because it's not hurting me at all it's kind of funny that a helmet it's not even like a closed in helmet or anything can help you breathe underwater so much better and there we go i've cleared a circle the whole way around it so uh let's start dropping it down i guess we'll drop in a couple and just make sure they land and wow i misjudged that so bad i really hope that's just a really deep part of this thing yeah, this isn't looking good. We're, we're, we're gonna have to build it up so much more. So, um, I'll see you in a bit. And that is the last one's down, I think. Yeah, there we go. And I don't think we've had any loss of sand, actually. Oh, wait, over there, actually, I can see some. That's hilarious how badly I can that none of it is above the water. Where did I even count from? Because I measured this up from the floor to the um, top of the thing. Oh no, there wasn't any loss. It was actually just falling into like a little ravine here. So uh, anyway, we're just going to have to fill this in again. But it's like halfway done. And then we just have to drain it. And uh, this is a ton of work. So see you in another like hour. This episode is just 90% me grinding. I'm not used to this. It's finally done. Well, not the whole thing. The circle is finally done. This took so long. We finally made the outer circle. And we're still like less than halfway done. But just look how many sand blocks are on this thing. This took hours to do. The rest like the halfway bit. Took even longer because I was getting shot up by these guys. But luckily the next bit should be a good bit easier. Only problem is we've got to take out literally every single little weed in this area. And then split it up into little sections. This entire project is just not fun. But the good thing about the end of it is we can either turn this into a base or into a farm. I haven't actually decided yet. Maybe both. But we also get all our sand back. Well, most of it doesn't see spawn anyway. So then we can use that for glass or future projects. So I'm just going to get to taking out all of this kelp here. A riptide trident would be really useful right about now. Oh, and I almost forgot. We actually have to take everything out of the inside of this as well. This entire project is just pain. I've actually tried to do this twice before, 
Once I did it with my friend and we got most of it drained and then we just stopped playing on the world for some reason. And another time I drained the entire inside of one ish and used it as my base. But I've never actually drained the entire thing before, so uh, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be so laggy. Look at all that kelp. Alright, so I've taken out all the kelp I can be bothered to remove. There's still a few bits around here and stuff. Also, I haven't done this bit really, but I'm just gonna start placing down the sand and stuff. And then I can just clear out the lines that I need to clear out because it's just a bit easier to do that than clear out the entire thing of every single little bit of kelp. Alright, so let me show you how I'm going to place down all the sand in a much faster way. I'm not going to start over here because there's a load of kelp and I don't want to start with that. Basically, what I'm going to do is some fancy redstone. It's just this little thing, really. Basically, what we're going to do is put all this sand in here. And now, when we place a sand on this block, okay, I need to click it on, it will automatically push it out. And this is so much faster, placing blocks just in a straight line. And then I'll just keep doing this until it reaches the piston push limit. Because it'll just go over those. See, it's pretty nice. And I can just sit here on my phone and fall asleep. But we do have to clear a path. Because if there's any kelp in this one area, or seagrass or whatever it's called, it's the same thing. It will just break the sand when it falls down, which kind of sucks. And I'm just going to do this basically the whole way across. And I'm going to split it into loads of sections. And it's going to look really cool. So let's just do this. And also, yeah, what this thing is for, it'll automatically feed me sand. So I don't have to swap anything. See, my thing is staying at 64. Really handy. So I'll see you in a bit. So I'll put down three rows of sand. Which means that if I take the water out of this side and this side, which I've already started doing, we can take down the middle one. Which is good because I am completely out of sand. This thing is just way more sand than I thought it would. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to just take all the water out of these sides. And I made a pretty big mistake, which is making this thing one block wider than this side. Because this is five blocks wide, it uses twice as many sponges. Here, let me show you. So, basically, this side, if you place a sponge down, it can reach the entire way across. If I place a sponge here, it will clear out the entire thing of water. Okay, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, it's just much, much easier to clear out water using this. Yeah, here we go. It's like, that's clearing out quite a lot here. See, we've cleared like a good five blocks down here. But I've done like five cycles and it's only done like twice that. So this is probably the least fun part of doing this. Not like any of it's fun, really. And I really could do with more sponge. But it's just such a pain to go get more. I don't know if I'll bother. You know what? I think it might be a good idea to go get more sponges. Because we need at least a stack and a bit to do any bit of a dent every time I go for it and I guess it's just better in the long run oh wow that is a really really odd spot for an ocean monument it's 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 in the icebergs oh that's so cool there's actually icebergs like sticking into it whoa and there is a sponge room there which is good oh there's two sponge rooms that's actually really good all right we're in one of the sponge rooms let's see if we can mine all the things up before the thing comes off perfect we got them all we got over a stack that's great ah oh, we just got mining to you that sucks but the other one should be just over here so let's drink the milk and hopefully we get enough time ah oh, damn it we gotta go find a cow now to give us milk all right we're in the sponge room quick mine everything up perfect there we go and we escaped without getting mining to you. so we got more than double what we had before we had 39 before and now we got 53 54 more and i just ran out of fireworks i don't know if i'm gonna make it oh damn it gonna have to swim the rest of the way Hmm, this might be a bit of a problem. I think I'm just gonna put like stone along the bottom of here when I get to it. Because I am not draining down that far. Oh wow, well, this is gonna take a while to get rid of. This definitely sped it up a lot, but that is a lot of sponges to take down. I hope we can get them all before they start despawning. Alright, if we keep going like this, the episode's gonna be like an hour long, so I'm just gonna do a little montage. That way I'll be able to show way more progress in like a fraction of the amount of time. And it'll be less boring. So, uh, yeah, let's do that.
And almost a week later, we are finally complete. It took me six days to make this entire perimeter. But it was definitely worth it. Just look at this thing. It's so cool. As you saw in the time lapse, I did bring the beacon over here. Which helped out a ton. I used jump boost and haste and a load of different things on it. I even used the health boost to help fight off the guardians. But this thing is absolutely insane. It's the biggest project I've ever done. I've got so much kelp and so much random junk in here. We even got a decent amount of sand back. And that's not even including the outer wall, which we're going to take down and replace with glass at some point, because glass looks epic for these things. But that is a grind for another day. I am so done with this. And I'm proud of myself, actually. I managed to make and edit this entire video without completely screwing up my upload schedule. We still got the entire interior to drain, and then I gotta decide what I'm doing with it. I think I'm gonna make a Bega base, but I might also make a Guardian farm inside it. That might be pretty cool, but we gotta come up with a design and a load of other stuff. But that is gonna be where this episode ends. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so, so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next episode. Toodles!